Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and this is going to be the GPU mining part of this series. And we're going to use some old hardware here. This is a Core i7 3770 non-K version. As you can see here, it's got 16 gig RAM in it. And it also has a older Radeon R9 290 graphics card in it. It's an R90, uh, R9 290, not a 290X. I have it running on uh, Unminable, uh, doing CPU hashes for Dogecoin, and then I also have it running Vertcoin, which is the coin that we're going to focus in on today for uh, cryptocurrency mining with your GPU. Uh, this R90, uh, R9290 only uh, hashes about 260 kilohashes, but it seems to be doing that pretty good. It's consistent. It doesn't overheat. You can mine Vertcoin with just about any graphics adapter that supports OpenCL or CUDA. Four threads on my CPU going right now on the uh, CPU coins, but it's still got a lot of memory free. It's uh, barely using the graphics card when it's mining Vertcoin. Vertcoin isn't too graphics card intensive. You can actually do other things with it while you're mining. I like to use the Hashalot mining pool when mining Vertcoin. This card kicks out, uh, about every round it kicks out 0.01 vert coin, which is about a penny. So, you know, some cryptocurrency miners print dollars. This one prints pennies. About a block every 15-ish eh, minutes on this pool. You know, it just depends on the uh, luck. There are two fairly simple ways to mine vert hash coin. You can use the one-click miner, or you can use... Vert hash miner, like I'm using. Uh, vert hash miner isn't too hard to set up after you get past Windows security. Let's turn the camera a little to the side here. I'm looking at the wrong thing. There we go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is generate the vert hash data file. So all you do is click on generate vert hash data, and this is going to take anywhere from 10 minutes to maybe an hour to complete. But once it's completed, uh, the window will close and you can program your batch file and while that's doing its thing, and get vert hash miner ready to run. The mining pool should have the information that you need to set up the command line to start vert hash miner on the pool that you chose. Once the vert hash data file has been generated, you can uh, start up your command line that you have to uh, start hashing on your pool. It'll take a second for it to load the data file, and then uh, I don't know what this next piece is here. I get a little bit of uh, garbage here but seems to not hurt the mining i don't know what's going on there now it's hashing now it's going along and you just kind of minimize that window and let it run in the background i run this on my media pc so i can watch like youtube videos and you know streaming sites and stuff on my computer while i'm doing this and it doesn't seem to hurt the performance of like watching youtube videos too terribly so if you want to make a little extra cash while having the computer on in the first place it's a pretty good idea i don't think it's going to be too profitable in the long run but you can always hang on to the bag of coins that you get and see where it goes i hope you found this interesting and that's all for i have for you today till next time build stuff and have fun